some zombies here. <laughs> the Walking Dread. Listen, I mean, you know, you, you've done my radio show many times. It's great to have you on TV. Uh, we always talk at Halloween time, but here we are in the great month of May. How do you like in Detroit? I, well, it's raining, but I, you know, I wanted to go up to my old haunt in uh, Rochester last night and look at the Meadowbrook Theater and check out Cranbrook where I taught for a while. And uh, it was just raining so hard I missed it. So maybe I can sneak up there tonight or tomorrow night. So you uh, you always enjoy coming back here. Tell me about the fan experience here. And uh, I mean, when I walked in, I'm going, what's going on? The line of people to meet you is outrageous. You're so loved by people. Well, you know, I'm on my third generation of fans. There were eight movies, but you know, you have to understand that the video revolution, VHS, and then cable, and then the DVD, and then the digitally remastered, you know, enhanced Blu-ray box sets, streaming, Netflix. So that the good movies now that have been made since the, the middle 80s and, and early 90s, they have much longer shelf life, they yeah. have much stronger legs, and they get rediscovered by new generations. So that's part of it. And then the attendant merchandise. There's like three new Freddy action figures that I've just seen today, including a sexy Freddy female anime <laughs> doll from Tokyo with cleavage and uh, cut off blue jeans. Humana, humana, humana. <laughs> You know, for me, it was that alley scene with the big arms. Oh, yeah. I still, I, I still can't see. And that's just a low-budget effect. That's yeah. just two grips on, on, on a couple of garages with monofilament and fishing line, you know? Fishing line. Yeah. It's great to have you back in Detroit. We're such big fans, and uh, I'm so glad you're here, and I'm, I'm glad you're back in the city. Well, be careful. There's some pretty scary things here. I think I saw my little pony. <laughs> uh, that's all for